Okay, everybody, we're really in here shoeing right now. We uh, started actually making our own masks after our governor and leader, Jared Polis, came out and told everybody to wear a mask, which, you know, I think is really good information. What we did is we went and uh, picked up one of these right here, a filtrate advanced allergen filter that filters out basically everything you can think of, including viruses, cough droplets, bacteria, the whole nine yards. It's a 1500 uh, micro particle performance rating filter. So it's a really good filter. What I did is I disassembled it, took all the metal and stuff out of it, and I took, cut down a piece to fit inside of my actual bandana right here. And as you can see, I kind of shoot it. And what you do here is you want to put this inside of your mask, your, you know, whatever you're using, even if it's an old shirt. I made one out of an old pair of pants earlier that's really nice. Kind of shoot this like this. And then the materials you're going to be using is a pipe cleaner, some duct tape, and a couple of hair ties here. Now what you want to do is you want to kind of come over here and get a hold of an end, kind of shoe it like this. Put the hair tie around it several times until it's really tight. See, so it should look like that, basically. That gets one side of it done. And you want to come over here and shoe the other side. Do the same thing. Kind of twist it a little bit. Take one of your hair ties. Go around the thing here like this. Make it tight. just get your filter to kind of fit inside there because you can adjust it after you uh, got everything trying to get done here. Now what I did earlier with the other one is I took this bottom piece and kind of put a little tie on it also. the same thing as you do with your other two ends. It's already starting to look like an actual mask. Mm -hmm. Then what you kind of do is you see where it's still got op an opening here. Is you want to take that, take your duct tape, and kind of seal that up. That's how you close up the parts of no. The mask is completely sealed with the filter inside of it. Now if you wanted to take the filter out and spray it, all you'd have to do is just simply take the duct tape off of here and then take the mask out, or the filter out I mean, and uh, spray it with alcohol or whatever disinfectant you're using to disinfect it. See, our governor told us, you know, to get creative with the, the uh, uh, making the masks like this, so I decided to really get creative with it and 
I came up with earlier, Mother actually mentioned, which was an ingenious idea. We bought a bag of Hostess donuts, and uh, the little tie on the donuts was coming off of there, and she actually pulled it off when we were looking at it. We figured it would make a great nose piece, and I actually had used that on one of the masks that I made earlier, and it actually worked wonderfully. I mean, when you use, put it on there and inside the mask, it really makes it so you can put it over your nose and have it really go over your nose and, and stay in place, you know, just like a, a painter's mask does when you put it on. Which I thought that was absolutely ingenious. That was getting creative about it, you know, using the actual tie off of a hostess donut pack. You gotta do what you gotta do. And it really worked well, too. It was actually a really good idea. It sounds a little crazy, but it really worked. It, I think, actually worked a little better than the pipe cleaner. And when we get some more donuts, I'm gonna redo our other masks and probably use the donut tie also on those ones because it really did work well. Yeah. <clears throat> and you see Boyd and Kenny, this is uh, how you guys can make masks too. You, Boyd, you can make some for your parents like this. Mm -hmm. It's real simple. I mean, it, no sewing involved, nothing. It's basically real simple to shoe. I made that other one earlier, and uh, it really came out nice. Well, it sticks. Very nice. And see, for the final thing here, what you want to do is uh, right where the nose piece is going to be. And now, see, the thing I like about this filter is you can, you know, squish it up if you have a smaller face and you want to make it smaller. Or if you have, you know, a bigger head and bigger face and you want to, you know, you can, it's like an accordion. It, it can go in or out, kind of like Donald Trump's hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the finishing touch here, everybody. What you do is you take and you make a little incision here. Try to not make too big a one. You make a little small incision. And this is where you're going to make your little nose piece here out of the pipe cleaner. And that, like I said, now enough, if everybody doesn't smoke a pipe and you don't have a pipe cleaner on hand, you can also use, which works great, we found out earlier, a hostess bread tie. Yeah. Uh, a donut tie, actually, off of a donut bag. Like hostess mm -hmm. donuts. Works wonderfully. Make another little cut right here. And then you go like this. Kind of push it through. And after I get this put in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of duct tape, you know, just to be safe around the little cuts I'm making here. So it kind of seals it up back up. So if, if the virus was to, you know, hit you while you're wearing this mask, it's going to have to go through the fabric of the bandana first, you know, to get all the way to into the hit the filter. See, that's your nose piece there that goes over your nose. Mm -hmm. A little pipe cleaner thing. There you have it, everybody. A very simple, non-sewing, filter, filtered mask for when you got to go out and shoe. Show you how it looks here. Perfect. Love <laughs> shoes.